A million dollars finally getting to Jackson County, Mississippi, following that EF2 tornado in June. Yeah, the Federal Emergency Management Agency telling us it awarded grants to 450 victims, and some of them are starting to see that money in the bank so they can rebuild their homes. I'm sorry, Fox News' Lacey Beasley first brought you the story of how they were scrambling to get money. She was back in Moss Point today to see what progress has been made. Yalanis and Byron, little by little, Moss Point is getting the help that they need. I talked to Mayor Billy Knight today, and he says they left on the 15th. But while the physical base is no longer here, you can still apply online through October 11th. One homeowner I talked to says she got her award last week. Every time I look at it, I want to cry because, you know, it's home. Sonia Hester shows us the inside of her childhood home where she rode out the twister on June 19th. She says the storm kicked the house off its foundation, a tree fell on top, and the roof caved in in the living room and kitchen. She desperately needed the FEMA aid. I applied with FEMA because I didn't have uh, windstorm insurance and uh, they gave me $9,800 to rebuild. And it's going to cost a lot more than that because my house is completely destroyed. Moss Point Mayor Billy Knight tells me the money from FEMA is a starting point, and it's up to the recipients to decide when and how to rebuild. I reached out to FEMA, and they tell me 923 people have registered in Jackson County, 453 have been approved, and the money is mainly sent through direct deposit. FEMA says several hundred registrations are still being processed, and a total of $1.4 million is being awarded to Jackson County. Although Hester appreciates the help, she says she has a ways to go. I just don't have the funds to uh, get it started right now, but I am. FEMA says some applications may be denied due to missing documents. If yours is denied, we have a phone number you can call. You'll find it on fox10tv.com in this story. And once again, applications are due October 11th. Reporting in Moss Point, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.